What's up guys, welcome back to another remote work from home job video. In this video, I wanna cover three healthcare remote work from home jobs that are hiring right now. And with these jobs, uh, you can make up to $8,000 or right around $8,000 per month. And that works out to be just slightly under $100,000 per year. Now I will say these healthcare or healthcare related jobs uh, some of them uh, do require you to have some sort of experience uh, in the healthcare field, but these are remote work from home jobs. So if you're uh, studying to work in healthcare or you do have some sort of healthcare experience, this may be good uh, positions for you to apply to because again, uh, just under $100,000 per year, just around $8,000 per month, you can make up to that. And these are remote work from home job so without wasting any time let's jump right into this video so the first position i want to cover here is at cvs this is a quality assurance analyst this is a remote position however even though this is a quality assurance analyst uh the requirements here are kind of healthcare related so for example you need to have a four-year college degree or one to two years of medicare call center experience so it's a call center related, but healthcare experience required type of job. So if you worked in healthcare before remotely, or you've done anything similar, this is going to be a good remote work from home job for you. Now for the actual job here, what you'll be doing day to day is you will be evaluating the quality and handling of calls and documents, key trends, behaviors for management review. You'll be assist in You'll be assisting in compiling and tracking responses on agent complaints. You'll be supporting the day-to-day -day maintenance and operations of any assigned functional units and other uh, duties as assigned. So even though this is like a call center related job, you won't be on the phones per se, but you'll kind of be like a uh, quality assurance person where you're listening to probably the calls of other agents and doing metrics related to that. So uh, other requirements here, active use of computer for carrying out daily job activities, excellent communication and listening skills, understanding of state, federal and carrier guidelines for Medicare sales, uh, drive to build and support an effective quality assurance program, high attention to detail and accuracy. And again, they want someone who either has a four year college degree, uh, seems here it doesn't really matter what your degree is in, or if you don't have that degree and you have at least one year experience in uh, Medicare call center, then that would be good enough. Now the typical pay range for this role is gonna range from 43,000 to $91,000 per year. However, the actual salary that you'll be making will be dependent on your experience, your education, your location, and other factors, right? So if you have that four-year college degree and you have two plus years off Medicare call center experience, then you'd probably be on the higher end of this range. But let's say you don't have a degree, you have just one year off call center experience here, or probably uh, quality assurance analyst experience, then you'd probably be on the lower end here. So it all depends on you right also this is a full-time position with full benefits here pto 401k health dental medical all these benefits so a really good remote position to apply for if you're looking for something health care related or you don't necessarily want to be on the phones but you have experience or you have a degree so i'll go ahead and leave the link down below to this go ahead and apply asap if you are interested because uh, these jobs usually go very quickly after posting these videos. Now, next on the list is gonna be another position here at CVS. This is gonna be a senior service advocate. Uh, this one is also a remote position. So normal working hours here are gonna be 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. in your time zone. Remember, this is remote. So depending on your location, they're gonna want you to work 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. So for this job, you're going to be uh, using motivational interviewing and other consultative techniques to gather comprehensive information about a member's medical, functional, cognitive, uh, psychological, or psychosocial rather, and mental health needs, right? 
These are all the uh, things that you're gonna be doing at this job. You can go through the listing here. Uh, as for your experience, they're looking for someone with three years of experience in healthcare or customer service or telemarketing or sales or anything related to those. Familiarity with basic medical terminology, healthcare, and the concepts of care management. Experience with computers, strong organizational skills, data entry and documentation. Uh, flexibility with work schedule so as to meet the business needs. And if you're bilingual, that is also going to be to your advantage. Now for this one, they just want someone with a high school diploma or GED or the equivalent and some experience in any one of these right here. But if you do have a associate's or a bachelor's degree, then that gives you an edge. Uh, the pay range for this is gonna be 18 uh, to $35 per hour. And again, this is like a customer service related type of job. I mean, it is a part of the customer and member services uh, category, but it is not customer service per se. It's more healthcare uh, customer service related, right? So if you're looking for healthcare job, if you have some customer service experience, but you are working on a degree in healthcare or vice versa, uh, this could be a good remote position for you. Again, most of these jobs are gonna be paying like $21 per hour. So the range here goes up to 35. I think that was really good. It's full time. Uh, the actual pay, again, depends on your experience, your education, your location, and other factors, right? You get full benefits, uh, go ahead and apply because this one probably isn't gonna last very long either. Now, finally, the next job is also at CBS. This is a customer service team lead. Again, customer service related uh, position here. Uh, schedule is 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. But for this one, again, they want someone with five years of work experience. Uh, they didn't list what type of experience, so they're just looking for someone like uh, general professional experience, working knowledge of problem solving and decision making skills, one year of EAP experience, bachelor's degree or equivalent work experience. You need a high school diploma or the equivalent that is required. And the pay range again is similar to the one for 18 to $37 before. Benefits are right around the same. Uh, everything is kind of like the same here. So the customer service team lead and also the senior service advocate, uh, kind of like same jobs. I mean, this one pays slightly more or the range goes up slightly more but here they uh, require uh, five plus years off work experience so probably that is why so in this job some things that you're going to be doing are you're going to be uh, performing quality audits you're going to be working with the manager to allocate resources to meet volume and performance standards you're going to be responsible for team standard operating procedures you're going to be uh, working with supervisors or management to build a cohesive team. You're going to be contributing to workflow review or distribution. Uh, you're going to be cross trained to serve as a backup supervisor or manager. So this is uh, definitely not an entry level position. I'd say if you worked in customer service before uh, and you had a couple of years of experience, this may be uh, something good for you because again, uh, the range here goes up to $37 per hour. Usually customer care related jobs are gonna top out at like $21 per hour or thereabouts. So if you are interested, apply for this one as well. I'll leave the links down below. Now, before we go guys, just wanna remind you of the pro resume template kit right here. If you're having problems landing interviews, these are professional resume templates that I created that can help you out. They come with section by section instructions. You get three templates, choose the one you like the most and customize it. They're also ATS optimized. That is a big plus. And you can uh, edit these in Google Docs on just about any device. Also the ultimate job hunting guide here that breaks down the job hunting process and things that you should be doing so as to successfully land more interviews and ultimately land more jobs, right? Because the average time it takes to land a job is five months with sending out at least 50 applications per week. So you definitely wanna follow 
all the tips in here so that you can land more interviews and land jobs faster. So these resources are here if you are interested. But with all that said, comment down below. Let me know if you've worked at CVS before. Uh, also, one of the downsides here is that you need to have a, let's see, you need to have at least one COVID-19 shot uh, prior to your first day of employment. Uh, for some reason, I looked at all the jobs at CVS. Uh, the jobs that are location specific where you actually have to go into an office or a location, they have the same requirement. So even though these jobs are remote work from home jobs, this seems to be like a standard requirement at this company where it doesn't matter once they're going to employ you, you need to have at least one COVID shot. So uh, that may be a downside if you don't have that. But apart from that, I think a uh, great opportunity here. You could also go over to Glassdoor and look at the reviews here off uh, CVS. They have almost 40,000 reviews over 65,000 salaries reported here. So you guys can go through and get all the info you want on the uh, jobs here and salaries. Also, you can look at the interviews here and see what interview questions or questions popped up in interviews for other people that were applying for the same or similar positions here. So that can help you out prepare for an interview if you do land an interview here at CVS. So with all that said, all the best in finding that remote work from home job that you're looking for. And I'll talk to you guys very soon in the next one.